What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jarrell, coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk, and today I want to discuss Deontay Wilder and if he's really ready for Berman Stavern. As you all know, Berman Stavern um, won the vacant WBC heavyweight title this past Saturday, um, defeating Chris Ariola for the second time via six-round TKO um, on ESPN. It was a very good fight. Um, Stavern proved, you know, he left no doubt that he was the better fighter. Um, between the two, and he moves on to potentially face his mandatory um, challenger, Deontay Wilder, or a potential unification bout with Vladimir Klitschko. Deontay Wilder is 31 and 0 with 31 knockouts. Um, he has tremendous power, and if you was just to look at his record without knowing, you know, the names on his resume, you would assume that he's ready. Um, and, you know, he's on a footstep to becoming the next you know, big American heavyweight champion. But if you dive deeper into his resume, it's not impressive at all. He's really, ha he really hasn't fought anybody. Um, the guys he has fought have been well past their prime, um, former champions or guys that just came to collect the check. He fought guys that started their career at welterweight and, and somehow found their way into heavy, in the heavyweight division. So, you know, he, he hasn't fought and been tested by anybody. And there's a lot of questions about him, you know. Does he have a, a chin? Um, can he make adjustments? You know, how how well will he do once he gets past the fourth round? Because it's, it's, it's going to happen soon. Um, is he mentally strong? Will his power last throughout a 12-round grueling fight? Can he fight at a, a comfortable and competitive um, pace for three, ma three minutes of each round? And, and, and last, you know, those um, answers, you know, will be... You know, those questions will be answered once he steps up and, and fights to Vern, which I believe they will fight next. Al Heyman is Wilder's uh, manager, and, you know, Don King is uh, Stavern's promoter, so, you know, they're both going to try to get each fighter um, a nice payday, especially Don King. He's going to try to milk that WBC heavyweight title um, um, in the position of Stern for as long as he can before... Uh, he has to step up and potentially face Wilder or or um, Vladimir Klitschko, but like I said, you know Wilder is very inexperienced. He has a lot of physical abilities and physical advantages heading into this potential fight. He's six foot seven. Uh, he has long arms. He has good hand speed. He's very athletic. He has tremendous power. You know he's a very likable guy. He just hasn't stepped up and, f and fought the competition. He should he should have fought by now. With his record being 31 and 0, um, he's been protected by Al Heyman and Golden Boy. Obviously, you know maybe it's it's something that they know um, will get exposed once he steps up, or maybe it was just he's he was a late bloomer. Also, you know he he was a late he started boxing late. I think at the age of 21, maybe 17 or one of those ages. So you know, and plus it takes heavyweight to uh, longer to mature. So you know they usually start to fill out and mature, you know, around his age, 28, 29, 30, et cetera. So maybe this is the perfect time, the perfect opponent. Um, but he cannot uh, overlook and underestimate Stavern. Stavern proved that he's a very good fighter. He's a thinker. Um, he plays. He played possum with Ariola, you know, in, in both of their fights. He's a very good counter puncher. Um, he showed to have a good chin, but he tends to lounge on, lounge on those ropes too long and too much, and and if Wilder can get him pinned up on the ropes, um, he most likely will put him out. You know, because you know you you just can't go back on the ropes against Wilder, who's an aggressive fighter, and he has that seek and destroy mentality, which is exciting for us, but could put him in harm's way because he's you know he's a big guy. Sometimes he, he look goofy around, you know, going off in the ring like with Ugly Harris when he he exploded and knocked him out, but he was so wild and. Uh, against a better fighter, they'll be able to be composed and, and step back, step to the side, and counter him with a, a right, left hand, or uppercut, or whatever it may be. So, you know, Stavern pre presents a lot of challenges for Wilder that he has to, you know, be well aware of going into the fight. As well as, you know, Wilder presents a lot of challenges for Stavern. You know, like I said, he he's a, he's a big man. You know, he's a big, powerful man, and he has a lot of physical advantages, but you know, this fight, we will find out how, where is he at mentally? You know, is he able to adjust and, and be well versed and throw an array of punches and be able to set the distance with his jab and, and, and fight a dead, you know, a dedicated and 
stick to the game plan. You know, will he get reckless and wild and, and get himself in, out of position and out of, and off balance to where he can be knocked out? Because, you know, like I said, there's rumors about his chin being shaky, you know. So, Wilder just needs to be, you know, on his A game in a fight like this. This is for the WBC heavyweight title. Um, the winner most likely will, you know, set themselves up for, you know, the biggest fight in the world. No matter where the heavyweight division at, it's still a big, big fight, especially if Deontay Wilder is able to um, defeat Stavern. He will be the the big American going up against the, the big Russian, the Ukraine um, heavyweight champion of the world, Vladimir Klitschko, who holds three of the four um, organizations' um, belts along with the ringside uh um, belt, uh, so, I mean the ring magazine belt. So, you know that's a big fight uh, for boxing in general. So, you know, look for things to get played out. You know, you know, play out and and see what things the chips fall uh, over the next six to twelve months. Um, you know, there's a lot of politics in, in boxing. So, you know, and there's gonna be negotiations. So things, you know, it takes time to negotiate these types of fights, and especially with Don King, you got Al Heyman and. You know, everybody want their fair share of the pie, and, you know, so it'll take time. But I believe that uh, Stavern should be the favorite. In my opinion, he's at this stage of his career. He's 35, but he started boxing late. So he's just now coming into his prime. You know, he showed the ability to, you know, take a punch, and, and, and he has very good power also and very good boxing skills, and he seems to have a very good IQ. So right now he's the overall better and, and more complete fighter. But Wilder can get there. He just has to, you know, show more and, and, and give different looks and and, and and work on the things he's done in the gym, in the fights. And, you know, it's do or die for him. This is his step-up fight. This is a big step up. And, you know, if, if whatever he hasn't shown us in the past, he, he better bring it out Um, when he steps in the ring with Stavrano. He will be exposed and, and, and given his first defeat. So that's my thoughts on a potential Stavern Wilder fight. Um, in the comment section below, tell me who who you favor in that fight. Um, you know, is Wilder uh, really ready, or is he you know biting off more than he can chew at this point in time in his career, or will his power and athletic ability, um, athleticism carry him to the WBC title? Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Colossal Box Boxing Talk. Also, go like our um, boxing page, Colossal Boxing Talk, on Facebook, as well as our sports page, Colossal Sports Zone. And go follow us on Twitter at ColossalCBT. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.